Today we're gonna talk about Sims 4 custom content, but from the Sims 4 gallery. I am willing to bet that one of the most underrated Sims 4 components is the gallery. You can find so many fun things on the Sims 4 gallery, like builds, challenges, and one of the best things and what we're gonna be talking about in this video, you can find custom content on the Sims 4 wow. gallery. Yeah, it's pretty freaking cool. And by custom content, what I do not mean is downloading links from sites onto your game. There's gonna be nothing like that, no mods, <laughs> no downloadable custom content like that. So if you're on console or if you're like me and you just don't want to download more stuff onto your freaking computer, then you can do this. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to download Sims 4 custom content from the gallery, how to use it in your builds, and where to find it. This is 100% safe. You don't have to go to any external websites to download any links, nothing like that. This is all within game. Let me show you how to do it. First thing we're going to do is you're going to open up your cheat bar. And for me, I'm on PC, so that's Control Shift C on the keyboard. If you're on console, you're gonna hold all four triggers and open up the cheat bar, and then we're gonna type in bb.moveobjects on. You don't have to include the on, but I always do it just to double check, make sure it's on. Step one is complete. Why am I like hyping you up? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. I'm proud of you. Go little rock star. Anyway, we're going to go and open the Sims 4 gallery, which is up at the top right. And we're going to go over to the gallery tab. Here, you're going to see the search criteria right up top. It says search everyone's creations. I'm going to change this over. I've already changed it to hashtag. So make sure your search criteria is on there. Under the hashtag search bar, I'm going to type in tool. You could also type in tool mod. I've been trying to find things like tool mod decor, tool mod furniture, but I find that tool mod or tool kind of brings up the best stuff so far in my research. So I'm going to press enter and you're going to see all of these custom items. One way to make this a little bit more specific is over to the left. My camera is blocking, so I'm just going to move. Hi, where do we go? Right above me over here, you can see there's a category section that says all households, lots, and rooms. I'm going to put on rooms and that tends to bring up all all of the like items and objects and that's what we want. I don't really want the big builds and stuff for what I'm doing here. So you can already see popping up here something that someone made. This is Sati Sim, one of my favorite creators on the gallery and in The Sims 4 in general. And from here, this is where you can start your search. This part is something that you really have to have a lot of time to do. You have to like put aside an afternoon. It reminds me of like going through one of those like designer department stores, <laughs> like the, the discount design or brand department stores. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Those ones where you have to go in and like look at every single piece of freaking clothing in that store to find something good, but you know, you're gonna find your favorite shirt in that store. That's what this feels like. So does it take a little bit of scrolling? Yes, but so does custom content shopping at the end of the day. Later in this video, we're gonna do a little bit of like custom content shopping on the gallery and I'm gonna show you some places where I have found good stuff. And down here, this is kind of a known thing, but if you didn't know, you're gonna see which packs have been used to make these items. So this one, for example, is base game. I don't need any purchase packs, but let's say I wanted this cabinet, for example. You can see that here we've got four packs that are used. So if you don't have those packs, you can download this, but some of the items that are used might be missing. But don't let that discourage you because I have seen so many things on here that are just 100% base game. Okay, I'm gonna place this down actually. So once you found something you like, you're gonna go ahead and press place room. You're gonna be on your lot already, and then you're gonna be back on your lot like this. You can put your room wherever you want and there you go. So now you have it on your lot. But from here, it gets a little bit tricky on how to maneuver this, especially since these are uploaded by people who already have the tool mod. That's how these are able to be uploaded onto the gallery is by creators that already have the tool mod. I just downloaded a couple more things that I'm going to be using to show you how to do this. And I just want to mention that a lot of these things creators just put up on the gallery for you to use purely with the intentions of just having things for people to put in their game. But make sure when you are downloading this some of them have like rules and you have to respect what the creators want a lot of them just want you to like use their hashtag or something in their builds so that if you use their creations then they can go in and see it and that's fine definitely if you're gonna do this make sure you read the description and see what the creator is asking because it's not usually a lot but anyway the problem now comes down to moving things around so I'm gonna show you how you can do that without messing it up because as you can see here people use the tool mod and put pieces together this is a literal I don't even know what that is. A music bow? Is it one of those like doo-doo-doo things? <laughs> 
a bow. It literally, literally said, said it's a bow. <laughs> If you have move objects on, your game will keep it in its position unless you try and move it. So moving objects around is where it gets kind of confusing. But remember that we've downloaded these objects as a room. And even though you can't see it on some of them, underneath there's going to be a little square. If you click on that square, you're actually clicking on the room and you're able to move things freely around. Once you've got your object in its final resting place, you can delete this if you want to. And then the flooring underneath is going to be gone. But keep in mind that once you do that, moving it around is gonna be really hard unless you want to try and construct this stuff back up again which I personally don't want to do sometimes what you can do if you've already deleted that flooring is you can make a room around it but you can see that if I'm doing this I'm already going to be deleting a component of this object I think I deleted like a roof or something once you do have your object surrounded though you can go ahead and delete the walls I'm holding alt on my keyboard you can also use the hammer tool and then you're gonna have that flooring underneath again but you can see like I messed it up a little bit so more of the story here is make sure that you've got your object in the final resting spot before deleting that flooring piece or just don't delete it at all. Let's say I already have a room made. I just made a box. I want to put this fan that I just downloaded. I want to take this off the gallery and put it straight into my room. So you can do that. You'll be holding your object like this after the gallery and all you have to do is just put it on the wall. That yellow is going to show up meaning it's on the wall. It's attached. Place it on there and for me it messed up my ceiling a little bit but all you have to do to do that is remove the ceiling by clicking on the middle and then click on the room again get that yellow part up there and press build ceiling now you're gonna have a properly enclosed room your object is going to be where you want it and all you have to do is just replace the flooring and there you go you've got a custom object in your build look how freaking cute this is wait this retro tv that i've turned into a cat bed what how okay we're gonna download this are you kidding me there's a cat in there no way okay so some of the stuff that you are gonna find won't be functional but some of it is. I'm gonna have to play around and really be devoted to like finding this stuff. So I just put this room in there. Again, I'm gonna have to go and get rid of this weird ceiling issue, but there's a freaking cat in there. Like, are you kidding me? That's so funny. And how the heck is this? How did this happen? Like my brain can't even begin to comprehend. Maybe one day I'll make a video of me trying to do this stuff because it blows my mind. Like they literally make this with sticks. It's so cool. Last thing I'm gonna touch on before we move on. And if you have any questions, by the way, let me know in the comment section and we can try and work it out. You might be in like a trickier scenario. So I got these rugs, which are actually just paintings, but since they have the tool mod, they're able to rotate it and put it on the ground. What the tool mod does basically is allows you to rotate objects in a way that we're not able to do within the game. So you're able to get them in these crazy positions and you're able to put them all together to make other objects. And when you upload it to the gallery, it stays in that position. So people are able to download it even though they don't have the tool mod themselves. So I know it gets a little confusing, especially if you don't know much about the Sims mods in general, but that's how this works. So this is actually a painting which someone painted by reference and placed down on the floor like a rug, but the game will want to put it on a wall. See how if I put this anywhere near a wall, it's going to try and clip to it and my rug thing is going to be gone. That can happen a lot when you try and move these around is your game is going to try and like fix itself, putting the object back in its upright position or however it was. Like I can't even bring this rug in my house because I have to bypass that wall. So how are we going to combat that? There's two ways. You could either put your rug where you want it and like build around it and make your room that way Or you could just put your rug on the floor build your room around it And then literally move that room into your room where you want to put it from there All you would have to do is delete the walls and then carry on your merry way Okay, so I think I've covered how to download this sims 4 gallery custom content how to use it now I'm gonna show you where to find it because like I said that can be a whole challenge in itself So last night I went on and followed a whole bunch of these accounts that have a amazing items that they've made. One of my favorites was this one here, Moonlit Syndicate. Look at this roof. So this is another thing that you can do and kind of what sparked me to make this video is you can find roofing pieces that you can literally put on top of your bill. This is actually a pretty common thing. Like you'll see a lot of people like to make these roofing styles because we don't have them in The Sims 4. Imagine, Imagine they, they did though. Sims, Sims 4 get, get to roofing, roofing wet. So I downloaded a few things from that same gallery page and I just put it on my lot. Look how freaking cute this is. They're like little reindeers made out of like a llama wool. Like literally made entirely by hand. How freaking adorable is that? Like so cool. Anyway, so say I wanted to use these roofing pieces. I would make my room first. I can't just shrink this and move it around like a regular roof. I would have to take this as is. Meaning your room is going to have to kind of mold to the shape of that. So what I'm going to do is make a room that I'm going to think is big enough to put that on top. So I think I'm good here. Now
now you're gonna again just like we were doing before with clicking and moving the objects we're gonna click on the floor piece for our roof move it on top and place it there and now I have this freaking cool roof on top all I'm gonna do now is just adjust so that my room fits the roof a little better we could put some trim on here to kind of make it look a little more detailed and what I would do personally with this situation is go in with like some fencing and go around it like I don't know something like that and then I'm gonna go in and delete my flooring that we had with the roof and there you go that was very easy it doesn't take any skill I literally just put that on top of my house and now I want to build a castle out of it I do want to point out that depending on how good your computer or your devices that you're playing on some of these things that you do download even though it's not actually like custom content it can make your game run slower depending on what you download though the reason for this is if you're downloading something like this with tons of detail like all of these are separate pieces this whole thing is separate pieces there are a lot of items on here and the way that the sims 4 functions is the more items and the more different items that you have on your lot the slower your game will run because it's trying to compute all those extra details on your lot you know what I mean so definitely be careful um, play around see what your computer or your your console can handle not all of the items are like that like you'll find some things which don't really have a lot going on so here are some of the pages that I downloaded and you can come back to this like pause it take a screenshot whatever you want to do Here's some other ones I found. Don't say I don't do anything nice for you. these are some of the accounts that I found on the Sims 4 gallery that have items that I liked I even recognized a few people on here like I follow Julia builds on Twitter amazing items you can find on here Milo farmer who is an amazing builder I follow them on Twitter here's some like light domes you could make a really cool like cyberpunk build with this there's also like a drawing table that I saw that I really like Sati sim is fantastic for fantasy style items this is a medieval beverage cart like what this one was a really good one I found last night I found like chairs wicker chairs cute little tapestries flower art tons of cute stuff and this one says functional so I mean test it out try it out have fun with it see what you can find if you guys also do this and have any recommendations for good places to find this stuff let me know I know there's like YouTube channels that make their own stuff too so definitely scope this out I'm all I'm saying is this part of the Sims 4 this like little area this secret corner that doesn't really get a whole lot of attention aka the Sims 4 gallery is a really good tool that you can that you can use and yeah that's it I hope this was helpful I like let me know if you guys are intrigued in doing this I would love to do more like gallery custom content shopping videos if you want or like builds using these stuff I don't really know but let me know let me know if you have any questions or anything I'll try to help you out and that's all I got for you guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one